Welcome to the Full Nelson. Today I am going to be comparing red dots versus rifle scopes and talking about the pros and cons of each and try to give you guys some insight um, into the pros and cons of each of these so you can decide what you might want to put on your rifle. So we're going to start out with red dots. The pros for red dots or the things that red dots really excel in are that they are good at close ranges. So if you're using the rifle primarily for self-defense in your own house, a red dot is really good in that situation because they're really good up close, because they have no magnification, they're really good in low light conditions, no light conditions, they're good for large targets if you're just trying to shoot center mass of a person or a target or something like that rapidly they're really good in that situation so those are some of the pros for a red dot they're good up close they're good in low light they're good in next to no light conditions and they are good for large targets now some of the cons for red dots they are somewhat limited in range generally you're not going to take a red dot and be able to shoot at say you have a metal sized silhouette of a person um, you're not going to be able to shoot that target in the head consistently with a red dot like this beyond probably two or three hundred yards. Now center mass of the target you're probably looking two to three hundred yards around that same range. I have shot these types of red dots out to four or five hundred yards and you can make hits it's just not consistent. You're not shooting right in the center you know a, a five or six inch group at that distance you're kind of shooting all over the target so they're not really well suited for shot placement at longer ranges and they are somewhat limited in range as far as being able to shoot consistently and hit hit a man sized target but i would say 2 to 300 yard out to 2 to 300 yards maximum for a man sized target that's pretty good for a red dot if you want really good consistency you know if the target was just a fixed target not moving you would probably be able to hit it 90 to 100% of the time at 300 yards with a red dot um, when you go beyond that, that percentage is going to decrease in my experience. So they're somewhat limited in range. They um, are not really good for small targets. So I, that also depends on the range. If you're up really close, a small target's not going to be a problem. But say you wanted to, sh you know, a sharpshooter wants to drill some bad guy right in the head and, and take him out immediately, a red dot is not really well suited for that type of situation. And it's just because they don't have the magnification, they don't have holdover markings in them for as a point of reference, anything like that. They're just not really well suited to precision shooting. So shooting a small object, shooting small groups at 100 yards, any of those types of things are going to be a challenge with the red dot. They take batteries, which can be a drawback. Um, Aim point does a pretty good job because their run times for their batteries are really long. It's like three years on this optic and some of their newer optics as long as eight years. So, but batteries can still be a drawback. If you happen to pick that gun up and the optic's not working because the batteries are dead, you have no sight on your rifle, which is the reason why on all of the guns that I have a red dot optic or a battery powered optic that if it runs out of batteries I will have no sight picture whatsoever I almost always run backup sights on those um, so they take batteries which can be a bit of a drawback now we're gonna get into the rifle scopes pros and cons and rifle scopes as you can imagine do a lot of things well that the red dot does not do well and then they kind of have weaknesses where the red dot excels so red rifle scopes are much better for longer ranges than red dots they're better for small targets, they're better for shooting small groups or precision shooting, they're better for shot placement, so if you have a target and you want to shoot that target or that person or that animal or object or whatever in a certain area, a rifle scope is going to be much better suited for that type of task. They do not need batteries. Now that you can get illuminated rifle scopes, but the illuminated, illuminated rifle scopes illuminate the reticle and when the batteries die you still have a working optic. You still have a reticle that works in your rifle scope. So that's why I say they don't need batteries. In other words you still have a functioning sight even if you have an illuminated rifle scope you still have a sight that will function without batteries. So that's a pretty big advantage for rifle scopes. 
Now some of the disadvantages for rifle scopes is generally speaking they're not great at close range so if you were in a house point blank this rifle scope in particular which is six power minimum up to 20 power would be really poorly suited to use in a self-defense situation in my house and that's because the magnification is high enough even on its minimum setting it's going to be more difficult to find the target and take more time than the red dot it's not going to work as well in low light because this particular rifle scope is not illuminated um, so rifle scopes generally speaking aren't as good up close and they're not as great in low light now there are some exceptions and there are some options that kind of mix the ideas of having a red dot and a rifle scope together so they make rifle scopes that are one to four power scopes and that gives you some magnification and it also gives you some holdover to where you could do some precision shooting you could shoot at extended distances because you have holdover marks in your rifle scope or you have a scope that actually tracks properly so you can use your turrets and and things to um, dial in your elevation and shoot at extended ranges so they do really well uh, do a lot of the things that um, bigger rifle scopes will do they'll do an adequate job in some of those areas and they also have illumination and you can turn them down to one power so if you were up close in your house you could have a one to four power rifle scope that's illuminated you flip on your illumination and when you hold that rifle scope up it may be a little bit more difficult to find than this um, as far as seeing your target but it's going to be pretty close it's going to do a pretty good job up close and it's going to do a better job than this at extended ranges for precision shooting things like that so one to four power optics are a pretty good mix and also they make things like a Trigicon ACOG or the Vortex Spitfire fixed power optics which are fixed on like a low magnification like three power and they have a reticle inside so you still have some point of reference as far as holdover for precision shooting extended range or, or longer range shooting stuff like that um, those are both great options as kind of a hybrid between both of them but if you want the best thing for up close low light stuff like that go with the red dot if you want the best thing for longer range shooting precision shooting stuff like that you're going to want a rifle scope with some magnification so that's kind of my take on the pros and cons of rifle scopes and red dots now i want to get into a little bit about what i would recommend for you guys on your rifle this comes down to what are you going to do with the rifle if you're going to set it next to your bedside and you're just going to go out and shoot at some boxes and shoot at you know a metal silhouette or something like that um, and you're not worried about shooting really tight groups you're just going to shoot it for fun sort of thing and you're also you also want it in that home defense situation next to your bedside and you might and you can imagine okay I might have to pick this thing up and use it in the dark um, a red dot is what I would recommend in that situation now if you want to do exclusively target shooting hunting shooting at small targets or shooting at specific objects on a target I would recommend a rifle scope now if you want to do both of those types of things you kind of want a good all-around package I put a one to four power optic a Trigicon ACOG or Vortex Spitfire something like that on your rifle and then you can kind of do both but don't think that you're going to be able to take one of those optics that does both things pretty well and shoot out to you know a thousand yards or beyond with a really good level of consistency with the one to four power optic like you may be able to do that but it's definitely going to be more difficult than if you have a fixed six power ten power twelve power optic or a variable power optic that you know is going to go six to twenty power or, or something like that they're going to be better suited for really long range shooting like that so in my situation this gun is my semi-automatic 308 um, this gun is set up for hunting and for some target shooting so I have a decent optic on there I could shoot at a specific part of the animal if I needed to last year when my brother and I went elk hunting the only part of the elk that were visible at about a hundred yards for the one my brother shot at was about from the neck where it attaches to the body of the animal all the way up to the top of the head for me all I could see was the head to try to make a shot like that with a red dot pretty difficult you could do that with a rifle scope so that's why I have a rifle scope on here it's better suited for precision shooting for hunting for target shooting at um, longer ranges stuff like that that's what this gun is set up for and it's quite a bit heavier because of that setup and stuff like that this would not necessarily be ideal for home defense 
This gun here, which is my AR-15, is set up exclusively for home defense. And the only thing I don't have on it, because I have that weapon light on my shotgun right now, is a weapon light, which you should have on a gun that you're planning on using for home defense if you needed to get it, get up and use it in the middle of the night. You need a weapon light so you can identify your target, make sure you're not about to shoot a family member or somebody who dropped him for a surprise vid or visit or something like that. Um, but this is set up exclusively for home defense, which is why I have a red dot on it. I didn't plan on taking this gun out and using it to hunt coyotes or, you know, shoot really tight groups or anything like that. That's why it's set up the way it is. So that's kind of the philosophy be behind the way I set up my guns. And if you guys are on the fence about, well, I don't know what to put on my gun, what do you want to do with it? If you want to hunt with it, if you want to shoot m small groups, precision shooting, go with the scope. Self-defense only, close ranges, a red dot. Low light, red dot. Like that's, that's kind of my my take on things. So if you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that concerning this video, you can leave those in the comment section. That's all I've got for you guys today. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.